now a CBS 11 special presentation from Sundance Square, live at the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. Good morning and thank you for joining us on this beautiful day. I'm Karen Borda and today is the final day for the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. And for those of you who have not been out here yet, it is an incredible outdoor gallery. It is the third largest arts festival in the United States. 225 artists are here showing off their creations. There are more than 60 live performers, and if you're hungry, this is the place to be. We've got crawfish, turkey legs, gourmet hamburgers. There are all kinds of culinary art going on down here, too. Now, the festival does go until 8 o'clock tonight, but the artists are going to close down at 6. So if you want to see some wonderful art, if you're planning on coming down, come early. Of course, it is free to walk around and enjoy the art, the music, and all of the other entertainment. There is so much to do out here. And festival organizers say, don't drive if you don't have to. There are hundreds of thousands of people who come down here for the Arts Fest every year, and that makes finding a parking spot just a little bit hard. You can hop on a bus, though, or the Trinity Railway Express, and you can get dropped off at the Intermodal Bus Station. Then you only have three blocks to walk. If you prefer two wheels, the Bike Association is uh, here to corral your bike. They will do it for free. Now, where else would our own Sandy Newton be but at an arts and entertainment festival like this one? So we are going to go to her right now. She is down on Main Street. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Karen. That's right. Well, I am in heaven, as you can imagine, in the art world here. It is fantastic. Day two, and you know what? Could it have been more perfect yesterday? Possibly today is even more perfect. So, as you said, Karen, the TRE is running today, which is unusual for a Sunday. So that's a great way for all of our friends in Dallas to come on out and miss all the traffic and all the parking. But, as you see, I have my water, and that is very important. You know, it's so crucial to stay hydrated. As in years past, they have some Thing that is fantastic. There is a hydration station and it is all free. Thanks to our friends at the Tarrant Regional Water District, you can bring a water bottle and get H2O free. Now, Selena, I know you said this has become very popular for folks to bring their water bottles or if they don't have their own, what can they use? Um, they, they purchased one right here for uh, nine tickets and they can just come back and get some water free, free, free refills. That's fantastic. So as many times as you want, right, Selena? As many times as you want, you can come out and get your water bottle filled. And that is so important because the temperatures are going to be hot today. The sun is out. It's beautiful. But you must keep yourself hydrated. So you know what? I think I'll take a little sip. And don't forget, those of you who don't want to use the old-fashioned maps, well, if you have a smartphone, then you are as close as you can be to a, an app. As they say, there's an app for that. The Main Street Arts Festival does have an app. And it gives you all the information, parking, all the artists, all the events, the concerts, the food court. So that is a great way because it is nine blocks long. It goes all the way from the convention center to the courthouse. So you want to make sure you know where you're going to stay in the action. And as I said, stay in the action with water. I'll throw it back to you. All right, Sandy, thanks. Yeah, you look at our television screen and it says it's 66 degrees. Meteorologist Jeff Jameson, you and I were out here uh, earlier last week and it was seemed much cooler on yeah. Friday and Thursday than it did today. It's really warm out here today, but beautiful. It really is, and so Sandy's point is well taken that in the sun, even though it's 66, that's in the shade. When we get into the sunshine, it feels quite a bit warmer than that. But I'm here already with a little bit of a crowd gathering around. How are you guys doing today? Having a good time so far? What's your name, little, little guy? Kyle. Now, is this your first time to the festival? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Are you guys having a good time today? Where are you from? Oh, we're here from Fort Worth. All right, Fort Worth natives. Not the first time at the festival, though, right? No, lots of times before. Lots. Yeah. Late at night and here at Delbert, but I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> so. Now, what's the favorite thing you like to do out here? Art, food, music, what is it? Definitely the art. Okay. Now, are you gonna, now, are you going to get your face painted later, Kyle? You think so? Yeah, that'll be pretty cool, right? There's a lot of things to do for the kids. That's really closest down toward the courthouse, so that's farther north you go here on Main Street. You go back this way, down Main Street, closer to the convention center is where you're going to find more of the music down by the convention center, but everything in between, as we've been talking about, some 225 exhibits and great art out here. And the forecast, let's talk about that. Warm already this morning, so you know it's only going to get warmer as you head through the afternoon. Temperatures will be back into the 80s later on this afternoon. We're calling for a high of 81. Nothing but blue skies. So the thing you need to keep in mind if you're coming to downtown Fort Worth is to put some sunblock on, 
make sure you're ready for it with a hat or some sunglasses to make sure that you don't get that nasty sunburn. It's that time of year we can start seeing those. And that's actually something you might have to concern yourself about for the rest of the week. As we take a look at the seven-day forecast, 81 today. We're back in the 70s briefly tomorrow, but then we'll warm right back into the 80s for much of next week. Maybe even some upper 80s coming back into the forecast as we get into the middle and latter part of the week. And even through next weekend, the weather looks to hold as we make our way through the next seven days. So not a bad forecast at all as we end April and begin the month of May. Uh, not only can you look at some of the art, you can eat some good food, you can listen to some good music, but also there's several giveaways around here as well. So you might actually walk away without having to pay for anything. You can win a prize, uh, which is good. But uh, some very affordable art and some on the higher end, but everything in between, Karen, is so great out here. Some very talented people. And you're not kidding. You know what? We talk about artists and things like that. We've also got a lot of music for people to enjoy. No matter what you like, country, big band, funk, no matter your taste in music, you should be able to find something here. There are three stages spread out down Main Street. Now here is a look at uh, some of the acts who are performing today. We've got Texas Gypsies, Crawfish, Razma Jazz, Del Castillo, and Liberty Band. So there is a lot for people to enjoy. Not just the great artwork, not just the great food, but music too. This is really one of the best events that is put on here in Fort Worth. And again, this is the third largest arts festival in the country. And there's a reason so many people want to come out here because it just is a great event. Now, there are plenty of other ways to be entertained when you come out here too. Magician David Hall joins me now. He came all the way down Hello. from Boston. That's true. Now, let's see, your performances, as I'm told, because I haven't seen this yet, are like no other around. You say it's it's high intensity, it's in your face, and really just an amazing show. You give me a great description. Well, yeah, there I, I appreciate that. Now tell us what it is, what it is that you do. Um, well, this afternoon we're doing a couple street magic shows, and that's where we kind of gather people out on the street. They come over from the festival, they watch a show. Um, it's real fun. And, uh, and then later today I'm actually doing a stage show um, in the afternoon, which is going to be a stage magic show at 1.30 on 5th and Main. Um, and that, you know, you can come sit down, there's some chairs, you can watch the show there. Uh, and then uh, in the evenings, in the past couple of evenings, we've been doing Doing, uh, comedy hypnosis shows where people get hypnotized and they go up on stage and they do fun skits and they become the stars of the show. Oh, that's awesome. And it's and sadly, everything closes down at 8 o'clock tonight, so I don't know if you guys are going to get a chance to do that. No, I think today we're just doing the magic, but uh, it's going to be going on all afternoon. I'm doing three shows today. All right. Well, show people. I mean, we've only got an hour-long show for this, but I want to see a sampling of what it is you do. Yes. I want to do a magic trick tonight, which is going to, I think maybe we could do it through the TV screen. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do it to you and I'm gonna do it to the people at home I'm gonna riffle through this deck of cards when I do I want you to think of a card in your mind okay, okay? kind of lean over and I'm gonna do it to the screen make sure you can see okay. it already here we go did you get one in your head don't say it okay yeah did you get one in I your did uh-huh all right very good we're gonna reach inside let me get this pen here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap the deck of cards when I tap the deck of cards one card will vanish hold uh, the pen here Take a look through the pack, especially for the people at home. If you're thinking of a card at home, see if you can see the card you're thinking of. Here's where it gets really cool. This pen you've been holding, uh -huh. it's not a pen. It's actually a jack of hearts. I think that's what they might be thinking of through the TV screen. How do you do that? It's pretty cool, right? That's very cool. So uh, that's kind of some of the stuff that we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be doing a little bit bigger of a show, but uh, it's stuff like that. So. That's, a, that's wonderful. All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. David, really appreciate it. And coming yeah. all the way down from Boston. Definitely. On a really warm day. It's a whole lot warmer down here than it is in Boston right now, I'm all sure. Right, cool. Okay, great. And so your first street performance is going to be at what time? Um, it's at 1130. 1130. And you're going to be at 7th and? 7th and Main. And okay. then uh, 130 on the stage and then 4 o'clock back at 7th and Main. Awesome. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. All right. Thanks. Okay. Now. Now, let's see, what are we going to do now? We are, sorry about that, folks. We want to go to, yes, all right. By the time the festival wraps up tonight, more than $4 million of artwork is going to be sold. And as you can see, we've got 225 artists out here, so there is a lot of artwork. Now, artist Carl Zachman has found success out here at the Arts Festival. He knows how to stop people in their tracks. And here is CBS 11's Joel Thomas to tell us about it. It started when I was about eight years old. There was a large pile of dirt by my house, and I would make trails and tunnels for marbles. When they took the dirt away, then I started using boards and hoses and whatnot. It's been a lifelong thing. And that lifelong thing. So cool. 
has led Zachman to sculpt a mesmerizing series of kinetic artworks. Each work hides spirals, jumps, gizmos, and it stops people in their tracks. Hey, when I'm at a show like this, I don't watch the sculptures, I watch the people. I, I love watching people, and this is kind of like my bait. So it just brings them in, and then you know, they're watching them. Do you ever scream stop? <laughs> no. <laughs> Zachman never sketches out a maze, it just evolves. And his boyhood game has evolved into a successful art business. What I make is all I can do to keep up with it. I make it as quick as I can, and people are clamoring to buy it. I'm really fortunate. In fact, Zachman's son has a booth right down the street. It just seemed natural for Carl, who grew up at art shows with his dad. As a kid, I would go to these things, and every time my, uh, my, my dad uh, would lose his marbles, I had to go pick them up. Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News. Okay, and what it costs if you want to take home one of those marble pieces of artwork for your home? about nine thousand dollars so make sure you bring, bring your plastic otherwise that's a lot of cash to carry around we've got so much more coming up from the arts festival don't go away we'll be right back Welcome back to our Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. Now, food is a big part of this event every year. There are 23 restaurants feeding people here at the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. A reminder, this is a coupon system like the State Fair. There are several booths along Main Street where you can buy these tickets. They do take cash and credit cards. Now, one restaurant we think you probably will want to check out is Bobby's Fajitas. And joining me now to talk about his uh, culinary art is Bobby Pena of Bobby's Fajitas. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Thank How you for you? being with us today. Now, I understand that your booth is, now you only do these special events, right? right. You don't have a, just a restaurant, but you are local. You are here in Fort Worth. Correct. And you are a favorite out here. Well, that's the what they tell me. We enjoy coming back. We've been, actually, we're the original, only one that's left over from all the vendors that when we first started this event. And you just come back every year? Every year so far. Every year for the last 27 years? Yes. That's incredible. Yeah. All right. Now tell us what kind of food that people can expect if they want to come to your booth. When they come to our booth, one of our favorite ones is the fajita nachos, but also the quesadillas, beef or chicken. Uh, a lot of times they want the combination, beef and chicken, uh, fajita nachos, or the, also the jalapeno stuffed peppers with cream cheese is another one that's our favorite. But for the most part, it's the burrito and the, and the fajita taco is what they want, beef or chicken. How much of this do you sell on a, in a day? In a day. Yesterday we went through 420 pounds of beef and chicken. Uh, just yesterday. And you just you just are back there and you're grilling it up. Everything That's everything is done right there. Grilled. Everything. The condiments, which is our, our guacamole and cheese and uh, sour cream. Everything is done right then and there. Uh, everything is fresh. It's not even the quesadilla is fresh. It's done on the grill room right there. And you guys, you say that, you know, because this is only a four-day festival and people can't wait another 365 days right. to get some Bobby's fajitas, you guys are also at... A Grapevine Main Street Art Festival, which is coming up next month, also at Grape Fest. But we're also at the uh, Fort Worth Cats, which we have a booth there, and also at TCU. We do all their baseball and football and basketball games. Uh, pretty much locally around here, but we do go out of town every now and then. Uh, you're, you're a legend around here, and, right. and people will travel far and wide, I'm sure, to get your food. All right, Bobby, thank you so much thank for you. joining so us today. Bro. Thank you. Uh, enjoy the food. Thank you. And our own Jeff Jameson. Sadly, you're not here to share this food with us, Jeff, but uh, hopefully you'll tell us we're in for a cold front. That's what I'm hoping because it's, what, 66 degrees in the shade, but in the sun, it's in a whole lot warmer. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. The, in the sun, where we are right now, especially on the concrete, I would say at least 80. So very warm out here in the sun, dress appropriately. I'm here at what is arguably the most popular spot to just kind of watch people kind of gaze upon the beauty that's the sculpture garden, kinetic sculptures. And these are all by Andrew Carson. If you come by here, uh, the Main Street Arts Festival, you won't miss it. Some incredible sculptures. I'm here with Chanel. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Now, you were admiring this and you were thinking, are you thinking about purchasing this? I would definitely think about purchasing one of these pieces, although we've got kids to get through school first. But we do come out here every year and admire this work. That's what you were saying. Every year you think about it a little bit more, mm -hmm. and one of these days you get a, you're actually going to step on the gas pedal and buy definitely. one, right? I would 
I would definitely purchase one of these pieces. I think they're a great conversation piece. They are, very much so. And that's not just the one behind me here, but there are several here in the entire garden, the sculpture garden here at the Main Street uh, Fort Worth Arts Festival. You can see some of them back behind me here as well. A lot of people looking at these, considering buying them as well. And this is just one example of so many different sculptures, artwork, drawings that you'll be able to find. If you're a photography fan, there's a lot of fantastic photography here as well, not just paintings. And we've been talking about that along with the food, along with the music. There's an area for the kids down closer to the courthouse, farther north. But uh, these sculptures are incredible. And every year I've come, come by, Karen, I've seen these. And I think this one in particular, Karen, will look great in your backyard. Now, it's a little bit of a financial commitment, just $21,000, but I think you can do it. Twenty-one thousand, really? Okay, yeah, I might. Yeah, be I think. Yeah. Maybe two of them, actually. <laughs> All right, take out a third mortgage. All right, Jeff Jamison. Right. Thanks very much. All right, and as Jeff was mentioning, there is so much to do out here. If you can't find something that you're enjoying, I don't. There's just too much to offer out here today. We do hope you'll come out and join us, and we'll be back with much more in just a moment. Welcome back to our live broadcast from the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. Now, if you do decide to come out here today, the organizers ask that you please leave your pets at home. We know they're special to you, but they, they say that uh, it could be harmful to them and possibly to others out here. So leave your pets at home. Also, no coolers or outside food and drink. Now, this is the 27th year for the Arts Festival. It was Robert Bass and friends who put together the idea way back then. They were trying to show people the positive transformation the downtown area was going through. Now, the first year, about 80,000 people showed up, and it has been growing ever since. The weekend brings in about an estimated $30 million for the city of Fort Worth. Each year's festival also has its own poster, and you can still get some of those posters on the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival website. Now, artists come here from around the country to proudly display their work, but there are several from right here in North Texas. Keith Garvin introduces us to a talented husband and wife. From the heat of the flames to the fine detail of the finishing process. I'm just preparing this a little bit. Ceramic artist Pamela Summers relishes crafting her sculptures for the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. She's been preparing for about the past three months. At this point, Summers has hit what she calls her creative zone. It's just bliss. It's uh, my blood pressure goes down. <laughs> That's what I, I strive for. And if I'm lucky, the art that I make is as beautiful as the way it makes me feel. Summers has a good feel for the festival. Not only is she a hometown artist, she's been participating since 1986. She's created about 250 pieces for this year's show and is confident they'll attract lots of attention. I've reached the point of my craft where I can make things successfully and I can usually make what's in my mind's eye. Her home is a double display of what crowds will get a chance to buy. These are some examples of some of the new textures that I'm putting on the pots. Husband Raymond Rains will have his glass art for sale. These are some new, some new things that I've done. There. Rains has exhibited his work at the festival for the past seven years. He looks forward to the festival because he says his art usually sells out. He credits his unique touch. I kind of do my own thing and, and I, I, I don't follow all the traditional glass blowing techniques. Two different artists, two different genres, but one common love displayed at this year's festival. Keith Garvin, CBS 11 News. Now I know that Sandy Newton, you like me, we have been coming out here for years. I mean, I've been coming out here since before I started doing this and while I was still in college, I think. There, this has grown so much and I know that to people who've never been out here, there is a lot to take in. There really is, and as you know, Karen, it started in 1986, and I'm going to talk to some folks here that weren't even born in 1986 to see about their first time expense. What is your name, honey? I'm Brianna. And you're from? Arlington, Texas. And? I'm Kelby, and I'm also from Arlington. Okay. I'm Erin from Fort Worth. All right, now all three of you, this is your very first time to come to the festival. What do you think? Uh, I think it's like very good because you could see all this cool art and you can buy it and then it's basically really good. So 
I think it's really interesting. And Erin, when your folks told you, because they've been out here before, they said, were you excited to come out to see all of this? Yes. And what has impressed you most? I don't all of it. All of it? And what do you think, you know, because we see all ages here. We see the little ones who have their face painted and we see some of the, the elders. Uh, what do you think it is that appeals to so many different age groups? I think it's just all the fantastic art out here. I mean, it must be an honor to show it. Absolutely, yeah. And so, well, enjoy your first time. So happy to be Thank here you. with you to enjoy it. And again, Karen, even though it's been around since the mid-80s, there are first-time people who are enjoying this glorious weather. And a little later on, we're going to talk about something else very special you can do just a couple blocks up. All right, Sandy, thanks so much. Yeah, and it's important to also know to remind people that it is free, so it doesn't have to cost you a dime to come out here and enjoy the artwork and the music and everything else. All right, and we will continue. We've got much more from out here at the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival in just one moment. Now a CBS 11 special presentation from Sundance Square, live at the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. Good morning and welcome back to our live coverage from the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. I'm Karen Borda. Again, we've been telling you how much there is to do here. We've told you about the artwork. We've got 225 artists from all over the country who are here to display their works of art. We've told you about the great music and the great food. There are also so many things for the family to do. We've got face painting and there's a rock climbing wall. There really is something for everyone out here today. Now make sure you grab a festival guide as you're walking in or you can download the Main Street iPhone app. There is an app for that. And uh, both are gonna show you the lay of the land. Now joining me now is Claire Bloxham. She is with the Arts Festival. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Karen. Now tell us, how has attendance been? It hasn't hurt that the weather has been perfect. No, it definitely has not hurt. It seems like every year we've got some something that happens, whether it's rain or wind yeah. or, or hail, but this year has been pretty much perfect. We had one day with a little bit of rain on Friday morning, but besides that, it's been fantastic. Um, we are expecting record-breaking numbers this year, which is really exciting. Uh, we've had, we're gonna have, probably have about hundreds of thousands of people down here in total um, for the, the four days of the festival, so it's been really great. We're now, excited. I know that the people who come out here love this, but the artists love it too. I was actually interviewing one of the artists on Friday, and he wanted me, we didn't have time for it on the air, of course, but he said, I really wanted to tell the folks out there how much we enjoy coming here because not all arts festivals are like this one. This is the third largest in the country, but they, the artists say they themselves feel so welcome when they come here. Well, it's an honor for the artists to be invited to come here because I mean we have over 1,500 applicants, and so for 200, only 225 spots, I mean it's it's really exciting for them to be asked to come here. I mean the artwork, the quality of it is just fascinating, and it's 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 there's awesome work and you know of course they're trying to sell their artwork but there are also awards that are given to some of them how are those are. awards handed out um, it's they're based they come from a jury we have a jury panel um, consisting of um, artists and um, museum owners and curators that visit each of the artists booths and on on Thursday and on Friday morning they give the awards out we have one best of show winner we have one best emerging artist winner we've got six merit award winner award winners and 14 juror award winners so each of those winners receive cash prizes. They get an invitation back for next year's event. And so they don't have to reapply. They don't have to reapply. Automatic entry. And then they get a little special um, place, a place card to put on their tents that shows that they're an award winner for this year. All right, that's wonderful. We did get a chance to interview the best in show. And I have to tell you, when I saw his artwork, I, I thought that it was porcelain or something. It was a, a beautiful vase, but it was made out of wood. wood and it really is something to behold. It's just beautiful. And we are gonna be interviewing the emerging artist in just a moment. Yeah, so, the best emerging artist. Yeah, and I think that people, you know, it's hard to appreciate when you're looking at it through uh, a television lens, when you're looking at it on the screen. It's much different when you're out here in person to see just just how incredible these artists are and what they're able to do with their God-given talents. And it's just truly amazing. They're so talented. We've yeah. got, they've got everything from mm -hmm. ceramics to wood, to metalwork, to leather, to jewelry, to fiber. It's it's really exciting. And all of this is art. You know, a lot yeah. of people tend to think, you know, it's uh, oil on canvas or, right. or, or pastels it's or all something art. like that. Yeah. It's <laughs> all art. And there is so much to see. And even if you're, I, I'm not a connoisseur, I'm not, I know what I like. Right. I can't tell you why I like it, but I know what I like. And 
you don't have to be someone who understands art to know that there is some stuff out here that, that you will really, really enjoy. Yeah. So, all right, Claire. Oh, were you going to say something else? Well, I was just going to say that we've got some great entertainment um, still happening down here at Main Street and um, that will go until 8 o'clock p.m. tonight. We've got Beto in the Fair Lanes tonight. We've got Liberty Band and Del Castillo. Okay, so anything else that people should know if they're planning to come out here today? Um, bring a bottle of water and then you can get refills for free at the, at the water stations we've got. Um, it's hot, so we want you to stay hydrated and um, otherwise just come out here, enjoy the weather and the great art and the, and the music and the food. All right, thank you so much, Claire. Thank do, you. Do appreciate it. And our Jeff Jameson, we've been talking. Claire just mentioned it is hot out here, that 66 degrees on the television screen. A little bit deceiving today. A little bit, especially in the sun, as you've been talking about. So come prepared, as everybody that I've been walking by and looking at has seemed to do, wearing shorts, have the sunglasses on as well. You know, I always like to say that Fort Worth is the biggest small town you'll ever visit or live in, and certainly that's the case. And I've even run into some friends of mine here. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Are you enjoying food and art and all that good stuff? Yeah. yeah. It's, good food. it's been great. It's yeah, been great. Uh, what do you have right now? What is this? I have the beef fajita. Oh, good stuff. Beef fajita nachos. Yeah, there's a lot of food, a lot of art as we've been talking about. Thanks, guys. Have a good time. All right. You guys having a good time, too? Everyone, how, what's your name? Cooper. Cooper. Now, have you gotten your face painted yet? Obviously not, but are you going to? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we could talk you into it later. Come back come back by after you get the face painted, all right? Have a good time today. And not only is it people that are coming down and visiting the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival, but you have to consider that there's a lot of people that live in downtown Fort Worth, including Elizabeth Paul, who joins us right now. You live right here on Main Street. I do, I do. Now, you, you said that there's a kind of a funny story about parking. Obviously, you're seeing a lot of people come and go living on Main Street. Yeah, I mean, to the residents that live down here, Main Street is kind of like an extension of our living room. So it's been a lot of fun having you all down here. And um, my neighbors all have, you know, open doors this weekend for their friends and relatives to come down. But parking has been crazy. And uh, <laughs> we've all kind of been shut in since Thursday when yeah. the festival started because they blocked off all the streets. And so we're, we've been shut in for the past three days, just hanging out, getting to know each other, walking around, meeting the vendors. Um, but yeah. So all in all, it's not a bad experience. You say you're shut in, but you get to see friends come in and meet new people. So all, all in all, a positive experience for you. Oh, it's been amazing. Fort Worth is an incredible city. Yeah. And I encourage you all, you know, it's the last day. Please come on down. Um, yeah, be careful with parking. I had a kind of... <laughs> right. Parking's the bugaboo, but again, we've been talking about it. You can ride your bike down here, get the bike valet for free. You can also get the T. The T's running, uh, picking up at Billy Bob's. Also, the TRE is running from Dallas if you want to come in from that part of the Metroplex. Let's quickly talk about the uh, forecast, Elizabeth, okay. because you're wearing a hat, which is very appropriate yeah, yeah, for today. Yeah. The temperatures in the sunshine are going to get into the lower 80s later on this afternoon. We'll have a fairly light wind most of the day. Later on, we're going to see that wind pick up out of the north at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. And as we make our way toward tomorrow, temperatures are going to be back into the 70s. Look for temperatures over the next couple of days to be very warm. Lots of sunshine in our forecast as well. And by the time we get to next weekend, a few more clouds and windy, but still dry overall with temperatures in the 80s for highs. One of the other things you'll see when you come down here, some more CBS 11 personalities like our own Jeff Ray, who's here. How you doing? Enjoying time? Absolutely, Jeff. Meeting your parents, by the way. Great people. Right. Well, they are the good people. Clock. Well, thank you, Jeff. Yeah, they're right here behind me. This is my son, Jack. Hey, Jack. Can you say hi, Jack? Hi. 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 Good job, buddy. Good, good to Joe. see you. And my parents. So this is Joe. This is Jeff's son and Jeff's wife, Fawn. Good to see you. Everyone is having. This is what I mean. It's a small, big town. Everyone knows everyone. And so fr friends and family coming by here uh, to enjoy the last day of the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. Karen. All right, Jeff, thank you so much. I'm sorry, I'm deeply engrossed in conversation right now with one of our artists, and we, you're going to get a chance to meet her in just a second. But we want to remind folks that the artwork that you see out here, these artists are chosen from a pool of about 1,400, 1,500 artists.